こんにちは、ロールスキマスカ。はよ、ごさめざ、カマンダンコンカーフォー。おいは、トロサーとマサ。あなんだおいは、おとだおしも。What? The English version?、Uh, what? No, isn't this the Japanese version? What? We're launching the English version. Oh, okay, well. Okay, well then, we'll, we'll count that for free. Free. Live? Oh, oh, how are you going today, ladies and gentlemen? Sorry for that、uh, brief technicality back there. This is the Master of Insanity, Loopy Legend here, bringing you another fine review for game replays today.、Uh, let's round up the sides. On the nod sides, we have Finn Crew, Fusty, Murder, Cheetah, and Zebra Stripes. And on the GDI side, we have Under, ZTO, PAP, and Who Am I? Sometimes I wonder who I am, especially with a personality accent like that. Anyway, let's get this game underway. Alright. Let's see. Classic two per side deployment here. Each team sending two for their own blue and two for their opponent's blue. Cheetah and Fussy with a defense offensive. Ah,、oh, sorry, support combination. Sorry, Fussy. Zephyr Stripes with a fence and Murder with a support player, and they will be versing、uh, defensive Piat with a. Offensive ZTO and support offensive combination from Who Am I and Under on their side. Alright. Although I do stress the fact that Under and Who Am I should have moved their crawls out by now. Not only does it like add a bit of a barrier here when they deploy, but it does add the passive repair zones and their units can deploy straight into the battle instead of having to come all the way up here. They, yeah, that, these crawlers should have been gone, man. They, they should not be here, they should be gone by now. I mean, ZTR and even PR with a slow defense crawler has moved further than these two at the moment. Looks like Zebra has full control of the blue up here. No, not a single problem here. Full control from, uh, from uh, Murder and Zebra. Oops, sorry, should put the unit names on.、Uh, yep,、yeah, both teams getting their blue, although I reckon Who Am I and、uh, Under got it by the skin of their teeth with.、Uh, I, I didn't see Fussy up here giving them a run for their money. Here, yep, here comes. I've seen the strategy before. Murder uses it, Cheetah uses it, and even I use this one sometimes. Putting the defense call, they have engineers and the garrison structure here, and you can slowly start spamming turrets up here and slowly take out this area. It's a common strategy that Vince really loves to use. Alright, the battle over here. Pia bringing out the troopers, giving Zebra the time of her life. Those troopers make a mince meat of all the tanks and even marauders. I mean, the passive repairs aren't enough to keep the. Here. And, and a bunk with engineers in it. Nicely done by Piap. I, I gotta commend Piap. Every time I see Piap, he has excellent defense. If he's not, he'll be like to reckon his back. Even on GDI, he, yeah, scattering, th there you go, scattering the units to avoid as much of the Marauder fire as possible. Excellent there by Piap. He does spread himself out, which reduces the、uh, area effect damage. So I must, I do, I must commend、uh, Piap's defensive abilities. He's, he's top class with that. Looks like, yeah, see. These crawlers, who am I, still hasn't moved, and and Under's only just coming up now, so. Very, very. I mean, they could have easily wiped Cheetah out by now if they had their crawlers up here, so. Very, very slow by、uh, Under and、um, Who am I, so. I do reckon. I mean, they, they are. The only, the only thing holding、uh, Fussy and Cheetah at bay is sheer numbers. And Under really should have Orca control by now. I mean, Fussy's got an army of Cobras here. I mean, we should see a few Orcas coming out by now. Look, yeah, four, four shepherds. No, you need to get some orcs out. You really should have orcs out by now, Under. That's a poor judgment there by Under. I mean, Fusty's Cobras are sitting at own the crap out of what it. Fusty can basically pick his targets. There was no no competition whatsoever. I mean, if they don't if they don't get some anti air support, they will be out of here soon, especially with Cheetah moving in now. Checking back over this side. Looks like Zebra and ZTO have taken the fight outside of the blue zone. With Piap, yeah, Piap got full control of their blue, so. We, I mean, GDI has one blue and the other one's contested, so Finn really needs to get their finger out and get a blue control here. Otherwise, they'll be f a l l behind in the Tib race. Looks like、uh, Murder and Zebra are having a hard time of it. I mean, Piap is a very powerful defense player. I mean, yeah, he's got, a, he's got an army of troopers here, which is perfect for taking out tanks. Look at this. One shot from everything, almost half kills the tank. I mean, the only thing saving them there is the engineers. Is they were forced to pull back. Also, p i a p with the hill drop. Actually, not many people know this, but actually having control of a hill actually gives you a little bit of a range bonus, too. 
Here come the Salamanders. It's going to play Roasty Toast with the troops here. We'll be back in just a minute. Yeah. See? Cheetah, Cheetah and uh, Fussy now full control. Still, and I stress, still, Shepherds only. No Orcas. I haven't seen a single Orca from under yet. Is he still support? Yeah. He's still he's still spamming Shepherds. You need or If you support, you're the anti-air player. He should have Orcas out and owning these Cobras by now. He should have Orcas out by now. Under poor judgment by under there. With um, Under being forced to come over this side now. Looks like uh, it will be a 3v2 over here with uh, Under joining the fight over this side. Shepherds are good over here, but I mean, even still, Orcas for some anti-air. Or at least Paladins, man. Come on, you need air support. Yeah, you are tier 2, so you should have Paladins or at least Orcas out by now. Not just, sp he's still spamming Shepherds if he's tier 2. Poor judgment by Under there. But at the moment, GDI are winning thanks to some classic field control. Not losing the field control, so it looks a little one side run, but it's still early days, so it's still, I mean, it is 3,500 points, so it's too, it's too early to call anyone's game at the moment. Finn's crews makes the cheater and fussy with control. Both teams have control of each other's blue, so, I mean, if PF's gonna come over here, they're gonna go over there, obviously, so it's that, just how it works. Bit of a contest for the blue. Murder holding out the blue there, but he has nothing to pick it up with, so, I mean, the, yeah, the GDI is going to get the blue here. I mean, even if Murder keeps killing our units, I mean, it's just not enough because just, he has no land units there to pick it up himself. And here comes Piap again. Yeah, no chance. No chance Murder's going to stop him from getting that blue. The best thing to do is delay it a little bit. Looks like it's time for a bit of roasty toast. Here we go, roasty toast Murder style. Even adding, even adding the flame bonus there to do some extra damage. Nice touch there. But still, GDI has too much. Here we go. Finally, he's got a few. Finally, he's got a few paladins out. That's what I like to see. Now, now he's starting to use um, support like it's meant to be. Primary primary role of support is to get some anti-air out there. I mean, don't get me wrong. They can use landings sometimes, but if there's other, if the enemy has air units, it normally is the support shop to get count for that. Uh, Murder and Zebra are still stuck here. Under ha does have a problem there, but Piap, yeah, here he comes. Coming back, looks like they did get him on, but they're not going to get rid of him completely. Especially with the, um, zone drop over here. Fusty still with the Cobras, and a few noise. Nice combination. I wonder where that's going. Zebra with her sneaky field control again. She loves, she, Zebra has excellent field control. I should know, I'm first at first hand. She is damn annoying when she places one or two stealth tanks. The only way I can stop her is by spamming spy planes at every con at every uh, control node. She loves to spam. She'll, she'll probably send one down here and send a stealth tank down here sometime later on. Or, yeah, they do have control this side, so... Cheetah and Fussy, thanks. Cheetah still maintain control this side. They have full control of the right side. And the only... Yeah, all four GDO players are over this side now. p up going for the middle. Looks like he's going to mix things up a bit. A bit of a fighting over here, so we've got fighting across the board all the way down. See Murder bringing out the Tyrants now. And he's got a uh, Scalper support and Busty coming in with the Cobra, so nice combination there. A combination of um, Cannon and Wade will take out Tanks and Heavy Weapons at the same time. And the Marauders making mincemeat of Piat's the Troopers here. Piat needs to do something about these, or pro probably with some help from Zekio. He needs to target those Marauders first. One, sh one shot from these zone troops will get rid of each one. So, tar yeah, there he goes. Target the Marauders first. Nicely done there. Piap does lose a few troops, but he doesn't gain. Probably should be swapping over for, um... Yeah, he, he should be swapping over for, uh... Yeah. Yeah, here he is, yeah. Cheetah with the black hand. Oh, so the name eluded me for a second. He did, that did the Raiders. That's what he, he needs to swap the troops over for the Raiders, so... I mean, come tier 3, these troops are going to be useless. I mean, a few shots of Spectres or a few well-placed Leviathan shots are going to get rid of a bunch of these guys in one hit, so... Piat really should be thinking about swapping... Start, keep these, yeah, sure, but if one dies, start building Raiders now. Yep, under with some uh, Paladins coming in and a Hammerhead combination. Nice, he's finally got the idea of uh, a little late, though, but... Oh, well, all good things come to those who wait. Busty not able to delete the time. 100 points there for the GDI crew. Looks like Who Am I and ZTO are all sandstorms. So we've got a massive sandstorm here by GDI. Not really could probably use a few Avengers to take those out. 
free. They, they are tier free, so maybe a few avatars will do the job. Come on, where are the avatars? No one likes avatars. I don't worry, avatars. I'll stick up for you. I mean, who, who can't resist the big hulking machine with two big arm guns? Come on, who can't resist that? Well, I know the Paladins can't resist it, because they love killing those big guns. Apart from that, who else can't? <laughs> yep. Yeah, he, see, PF's slowly swapping out his uh, combination there for a few Raiders. He's probably just going to wait till he loses those before he swaps over. Might be a good idea to let him, never know. Yep, fla full flame columns here for Cheetah. Nice and done. Looks like we're a bit of a standstill. Fusty! Fusty! Where is he? Where is he? Oh, oh murder just, just misses under that. Under knife control giveaway. And 20 bucks, he's gonna have a belly of basilisk here. 20 bucks, Fusty, come on! Aha! Here we go! 20 bucks! That's $140 you owe me now, mate! You owe me 140 Fusty, and I will collect! That's the, la that's the last time you lose a bet with me and fail to pay up, mate. Yep. Under forced to retreat there. With a few basilisks. I mean, the Sonic Artillery will slow Murder Fusty down, buying enough time for 100 for this game, but it won't stop it completely. ZTO having to look at what Cheetah's got up here. Probably a little bit too much one offensive roll, especially with the black hands on his case. I don't know if they'll get him or not. They might, especially with the engineer support. He, Cheetah just might get him. Well, here comes Fussy. He's gonna flog the kill. 20 bucks. 20 bucks Fussy's gonna flog the kill off uh, Cheetah again, so this will be 160 of them, correct, mate. Yep, Fussy with the mind drop. There's the mind drop. Fussy, excellent mind drop. And there's the bastards. Oh, I can't tell. I'm still gonna charge Fussy 20 bucks for that, so that's 160 over now, mate. I must. I mean, I've said it before in my last mod, but Fussy is one of the best mind drops, even on God, I have ever seen, so. I mean, excellent mind drop there by Fussy. Stunning for ZTO's core, and just slowing it down enough for him to bring Fussy and finish it off, so. Again, Fussy, well done in the mind drop. Looks like Zebra Shops has finally regained control of her side. We get some blue tip, much needed over here. And CTO is after that blue tip, even going, he's walking, he, he really must be gutting for the tip, walking right through the defensive base there. Just after the blue, I don't know if he'll get it, especially with that engineer on it. He might. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think he's got it. Ah, oh, <laughs> a quick, a quick change and fix the obelisk of the fast. All he needs is one zap of it and the engineer gets back safely. Well done, Fussy. Good, good, good spotting with that. Alright, looks like Murder's bringing the big guns, bringing up the, uh, Spectres. Yeah, as I said before, these troops are no match for Spectres. You, you watch this, as soon as those shields go down, it's going to be like one barrage and half of them are dead. You watch. So, as soon as the Crystal Shield and the Defensive Embassy Shield go down, that will go. Uh, yep, Zebra with the same strategy. She's got a few blue upgraded ones too, so that's very nice. Yeah, Spectres will make mincemeat of a group of Samsung. Samsung might be mobile, but not this area effect. Alright, Kodiak spawn for under. Here we go. I, I, I want you to see this. I mean, yeah, Piap loves his crystal shields. He knows how to crystal shield people. That's a common strategy I see Piap using. Popping up a crystal shield and stunning out of course. Yeah, there they go. See, just like that. Half of his army gone in one shot from the... Yep, there go the other half. Looks like GDI will be fighting murder back with a Sonic Artillery. But yeah, Piat losing his whole army there, straight to the uh, Spectres. So you really should have more mobile zone raiders there by now. Yes! An Avatar! Thank you, murder! I love these hulking robots. Oh, fully half raids in one hit too, just like that. Full cheer to the hulking robot, ladies and gentlemen. Dun 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 dun. All I need to do now is add some theme music. Dun 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 dun. These, I love these hulking robots. Alright, Fusty with his usual combination, one Medusa and the rest uh, Bastus, using the Medusa to keep everything alive and slowing things down, and the, there he goes, yep, uses the, uses the healer ability, what's it called, uh, yeah, the Matrix there, I the name, yep, between, between the stasis, the stasis, the stasis shields here and, um, the healing ability of the Medusa, it's a powerful combination, I mean, simple and effective, Fusty knows how to micromanage his combination, he does it so well, I see him do this all the time, one or two, one or at the most two Medusa, Bastos many between the stasis shields and the healing and the full firepower of the Bastos and the range, she just owns just about anything. Not these are Bastos or Blues here, there was nothing a simple replacement for the fix. And just about to lose this one here. Yeah, I mean, deep the sandstorms are no match. And here come the Kodiaks, yep, here he goes. Fussy's after these Kodiaks, he's got to get the Kodiaks off of the uh, Zebra's case. 
So nice, e excellent teamwork here by Zebra and Busty. Must be backing up an allies by taking those kind of the And Mode is coming down here too. Uh oh, here come the Paladins. Yep, the CTO with the Paladins. Watch out, Busty. Here they come. I don't think Fussy's going to have an easy time if Zekio's going to start spamming Paladins. It's going to make Fussy's job really difficult. Because, I mean, if, if, if they lose Fussy's Bouncer's control, these Kodiaks are simply going to own all three of the other teammates, the Cheetah, Murder, and Zebra. And Fussy must, they must be better way to get rid of these Paladins or they're going to lose full control of the field. Yeah, he's the hero to admit Zebra with a field control seat. She's just got a few stealth tanks just sitting there. Even one here in case they lose number one. She, she just lets them sit there, turns off the automatic fire mode, and even if Junior I come down and blow it up and take over, as soon as they walk away, she'll just take over again with the stealth deck. So, excellent field control. I mean, I've been on the receiving end of her field control before, and as I said, the only way to do it is to spam the mode. So, you spot a stealth tank. She is the most annoying field control I've ever seen, and she does it so well. I'm just happy when she's on my side doing it, but I hate fighting her with the field trolling. Oh, it drives me nuts! Here she is, yeah, she, she, she even does micro she backs off, see? Here comes, yeah, take, take note of the spammers there. Yes, I call them the spammers, get over it. Moving it, moving them out of range of self-protection. Nicely done there by Zebra. Alright, under, probably should, could, could benefit from a few fun birds, at least one or two do, in case Busty comes over with the... Uh, yeah, even if even if he loses, um, Under can put up enough of a fight and buy enough time for ZTO and Talon to get at least with one or two funny birds. So he shouldn't be yet. Yeah, anything he can do with Fuzzy comes right away. That's all he can do. Although leading Fuzzy straight into the Paladins there is an extra trust. Yeah, he's going to Stasis Field, and there we go, Stasis Field, yeah. ZTO should be slamming down the F button to scatter those Paladins out a bit, but that's the only way to stop yourself from being affected by Stasis Field, but by scatter. So, yeah. Yeah, ZTO, see, there's still a whole bunch of stuff. You just, I mean, spam the F key once or twice is all you really need to do, just to spread them out a bit, because, I mean, you might, some of the one or two of them might get affected, but you might be able to stop all of them. That's just the advantage. See, stunning most again. So, CTO failing to spread his units out to scatter them a little bit. Yeah, I mean, well, watch this. The Kodiaks come, they'll come for a big show. I'm just going to take over this as soon as they leave. Sneaky little stealth tank is just going to pop back up here and take it over again. So, it is even at the moment. Two, two goes to peace. Probably, I probably will get the third one here. So, it'll soon be two free, but it still is anyone in the game. It's not as uh, worn up. They were trailing by about seven. Uh, Mid screw has caught up a bit. Here's Piap. I don't think Murder and Zebra are going to stop Piap. I mean, he's one of the. Yeah, especially with the Kodiak coming. Yep. Murder and Zebra will be forced to pull back, and if. Yeah, they will be forced to pull back because these Kodiaks are going to make. With no Bastard support, these Kodiaks are going to make a bit of those those lanyards. It doesn't matter if you have the turrets, not enough to stop an army of Kodiaks. Yep, Zebra. Yeah. Here we go. Field control again. So, uh, Zebra, hands off to you, excellent field control, and one more thing, if you ever use that annoying field control on me again, I'm going to chuck a scat and a smack attack and come after you. I hate it when she uses that field control on me, but I must admit, it is damn effective. Looks like uh, ZTO is trying to get control of this side from, uh, so they can both move him, but Cheetah, between Cheetah's defense and Buster's sword, they aren't going to get it. Even if they bring Paladin to the show, it's just not enough to stop them. Two on one fight here. ZTO being forced to pull back. Yeah. Yeah, Ze Ze Zebra and Chief Murder being forced to pull back here thanks to the Kodak Bam. Here comes Fussy. He he's on his way. Here we go. Here come the Basilisk. It's like a near that theme music. Dun 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 dun. Here come the Basilisk. And the Kodiaks, I mean, ZTO needs to get his Paladins up here. Ace out all those Kodiaks and hard to. It's, it's, it's kind of like a game of Ring Around the Rosie. GDI brings Kodiaks, not brick Basculus. Don't brick Basculus, GDI brick Paladins, where are they? They're ready. Oh, Ion Cannon really fully. Oh, that'll be launched soon. Yeah, ZTO really needs to bring some more Basculus up here if he's still got some. Can't see where he is at the moment. There he is. What's he gonna pop out of his belly? Here we go, Paladins. No. Oh, okay, well, there's mud on my face. But yeah, it, 
when, it, when, it, when both teams get the tier 3 and the game's still eat quite even like this, it's basically a game of ring around the rosy. Nod does one thing, Gio does another. Gio does that, Nod does that. It's basically just, like, it's just a game of counters, really. You do this, I'm going to counter you with this. So it's just, a, it's just basically, it comes down to field control when it gets like this. And with Zebra on their side, I think Fin Crew might win this game because Zebra's field control has brought them from about a 7 800 point difference and brought them right back up even. Thanks for, yeah, here she is, see? Gio has just taken over this node, and all she does is leave the self playing there and is back in Nod's control as soon as they leave. Let's see, who am I deploying his call here? Sorry about that, I need some water. Here we go, here come the Mastodons. Now, here's the other big hulking robot. What we need is a Mastodon versus Avatar fight. Now, that I would like to see one day. Alright. CTO running away from that nuclear missile. Excellent job stopping that. Looks like the High Confessors are coming out for Cheetah as he moves into the middle, leaving some... Yeah, nice nice touch, leaving some defence. I was going to say you better leave some defence over there. Nice touch there by Cheetah. Alright, let's see. It's a bit of a stalemate at the moment. Not much happening. A bit of a fighting up here, but it's basically just back and forth hit and run. I mean, both teams can't really take each other out, so it's going to sit there and take pot shots at range at each other until something gives. Yeah, see, the, the Juggernauts and the Spectres here going it out with the... Basilisk and the Kodiak, all they're doing is standing at it, it's just spamming the crap out of each other. See, moves in for a few shots, backs off. Oh, the Mark of Cain, here we go, Mark of Cain on the unit, oh, nice timing by the Iron Cannon, or completely counter the Mark, by the time they run away, the Mark of Cain's gonna be gone. See, probably get a few shots off with it. Here, here we go, Mirror Cody, Fusty and Murder being forced to fall back. No, GDO loves doing that, they either love using debuff, or mirror coding to counter the um, Mark of Cain. I mean, a sneaky little trick g can do is as soon as the Mark of Cain comes in, you sit there and debuff all the units. Very effective. A lot of advanced support players love doing that. Nice trick, and it, it kind of makes the Mark of Cain null and void as long as you can spot it in time. Alright, Cheetah coming down here to get rid of Who Am I? I've got my suspicions about Cheetah. I reckon, I mean, I, I still say he's a cheat, but I, I'm yet to prove it. Maybe I can this game. I don't know. I don't know. Really, I don't know. But Cheetah, I will get you one day. Oh, what have we got coming over here? Another Ion Cannon? Yeah. Yeah, just spamming the Ion Cannon. I mean, even if you use it, even if it's not fully really charged, the Ion Cannon can still be... Aha! Yeah, I was going to say, the Ion Cannon still can be very effective, but Cheetah... I'm oh, sorry. Uh, Fusty deploying a Stacey Field to keep... Stasis field around um, an iron cannon will stop the iron cannon from going anywhere, actually. Not a lot of people know that. Stasis field will stop all abilities and units, so if you ever get stunned by an iron cannon and you have a basket scan, you just stasis field it and it'll stop it completely. Fusty here without his uh, usual Medusa. Oh, what happened there? Ah, very creative. The mirror coding. That's what happened. Fusty being forced to run away. ZTO piles on the mirror coding. Ah, the cheese. Yeah, a few turrets here, yeah, no, no, no match for the Paladin. The Paladin can simply walk all over these units here. Again, probably shouldn't spam the F key to spread himself, but he is taking area effect damage from those motors. It might not be much, but it's still area effect damage, especially when they're going to target the spammers here with him. Alright, Murder running away from that battle. Yeah, who, who am I here with the Mastodons? And with Mastodons and Kodak, they're the, they're the two biggest non-defensive nightmares. Well, when they're both running and you, all you can do is run as slowly as you can run away, but you still have to run. Yeah, see, just like that, all the injury is gone. Uh, uh, unless you have Basilisk support, not the tier 3 non defense, it just isn't worthwhile. I mean, you can still get the records and the missile, but having an actual holding ground versus Kodiak is next to impossible alone, unless you have support from your allies. I don't, I don't know why Anders running away. He, he should just walk right in and Mow Cheetah over. He can quite easily. Ah, that's why. Stealth. Nicely done. Cheetah using his brains and going straight to the stealth and turning off the auto fire. So, until they get stealth detection over here, they won't be doing a thing. Alright, let me catch my breath for a second. Alright. Looks like it's pretty even at the moment. I mean, two nodes apiece, and the score's still pretty even. So, this is still anyone's game legend. This has been a very. This game's been very close all the way through. Yep, here comes the Ion Cannon again. Piap loves just spamming that Ion Cannon. Stun Zodiac, probably, probably get a kill out of it. 
Sorry, Zodiac. Oh, sorry, Zebra. I'm sorry, can you please forgive me, darling? I called you Zodiac. <laughs> sorry about that. Oh, mine dropped too. They they really want to stop Zebra here on Attractive. They will get a cooler kill on her. Oh, maybe not. Oh, oh, excellent. Oh, superb teamwork there by Fussy and Zebra. Fussy seeing that she she's in trouble there, so puts the Stacey Field no, and straight after the Stacey Field, Zebra spamming the delete button, so. Very damn good. It, it just shows the superior teamwork of Vince Group. They, their teamwork is second to none, and that is the only. Their teamwork is the most powerful thing they possess. I mean, in, individual skill aside, their teamwork is top notch, and they just they know how each other's played. They know what each other does, and that just proves. It. I mean, straight away she pressures. Zebra pushes delete as soon as the Stacey field goes on. She's probably waiting for that. What the? All right, Cheetah. Where did you get those mastodons from? I have my suspicions he's up to something. He's got to be cheating. He's got mastodons. All right, Cheetah, confess. Did you blow them up over here and take them over engineers? Oh, I bet he did. You know what? I think I figured this out. Your little charade's up. I've got you, Cheetah. 20 bucks says, who am I is your Smurf account. And you're using two computers to play at the same time. You purposely used two of I to send the, send the mastodons up there. Then you purposely got them killed by your own defense. And then you took over the engineers. I've got you now. See, you've got more masters on team ready to replace your injured ones when they go. I've got you now. Who am I? I figured out. Who am I is Cheetah. That's who you are, Cheetah. <laughs> I've got you pinned it down, mate. <laughs> Alright, but seriously, back to the game. <laughs> yep, Acme back up here at 5. Acme's been up here most of the game. Acme, in the app, sorry. Again, I will stress this, PF is one of the best defensive players I've seen, whether he's Nod or GDI, he knows how to, he loves these crystal shields. He, he, he loves to stun people with the crystal shields, he really does. Murder coming down here to take up the uplink, probably, he probably after the ion cannon here, that's probably what he's here for. Oh, oh, P, <laughs> excellent trap, I'd be up, puts, puts the uh, crystal shield down there just in time for the stop murder from deploying and stuns the crap out of him. Here, here they come, here comes CGO, and here comes under, they're gonna, yep, they'll get it. Excellent work there, bub, here. Excellent, e yeah, e here comes the art. Yep, icing on the cake, pause on the cheese there with the iron cannon. <laughs> 10 out of 10, PF, you are a superb defense player, and a move like that only, yep, murder won't be able to delete in time. Excellent work there by PF, using the crystal shield stun ability, and spawning in time to stop murder from deploying. Excellent, excellent control there by Pia. 10 out of 10, mate. Alright. We don't have long left. It is still anyone's game with about 600 points left in it for both teams to get. Both just shy of 3,000 points. So, yeah, GDI controlling the left side, not controlling the right side. Fighting going on for the middle node for power. Yeah, see, I told you he was cheating. He's got seven master, six Mastodons now. I told you he was cheating. Cheetah! Looks like you're living up to your reputation, mate, you big cheat. I've got you now. See, I'm going to use this video as proof, and I'm going to get your account closed, mate. You big cheater. <laughs> if you wish to start battling this graphic, please submit it in writing and, and, and a full PM to me the next week. I'm like, I will have a graphic by now. <laughs> I got you now, cheater. Proof positive. <laughs> Once again, the Kodiak's proving too much for the Massacre team. They really, Fussy really needs to get in there and, and target those Kodiaks, otherwise those Massacons won't stand a chance. Are there any Juggernauts around here? Nope. Oh yes, there, I just thought I saw some, yep. Juggernauts and Kodiaks are just as bad as the Spectres and uh, Revivants or... So yes, yeah, so not getting a taste of their own medicine using superior air and anti t free units. Doesn't matter though, murder on, cheater on hand with engineers, here he comes. Setting his rally point here with the engineers, he's just gonna wait for a complete opening and run on in and shop till he drops. Cheater ends up setting up a shopping spree here. Uh, Cheater, I should probably take out the, the carcasses here. Or do the same thing. It's a, it's a big shopping fest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's a shopping competition. The shopping competition is on. GDI versus Nod, who could claim the most Dead carcasses and replacement with engineers. Yeah, he, even, even who am I with, um, with a, an aftershock here? So it looks like it's a free for all shopping spree here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 
Oh, oh, an iron cannon. Uh, uh, clean up an R3. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, we're 500 points left in it. Zetio is coming over here to try and remove Cheetah. I don't think he's going to do it by himself. Cheetah just, especially when he's. Zetio should wait till he has a full army at least, because if he builds one unit at a time, he's just going to get owned. Yeah, he might be able to take up the engineers, but nothing Cheetah can't replace in a few seconds. Yeah, the shopping spree still continues. Yep, both. Yeah, even murder's getting in there. It's a, it's a free for all. It's, 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 it's a crappy free for all over here. That's all it is. It's a shopping bonanza over here. Every time a dead carcass goes out, someone claims it. <laughs> yeah, and look, look at the mess here. As I said before, clean up on all three. Clean up on all three. Yep, here comes murder in again with the shopping spree. <laughs> Yeah, it's it was it's just been a shopping spree. Look at the mess here. Definitely clean up on all three after all that. All right, we're hitting the end. Yeah, see, only 50 points in it, so it is still anyone's game. We're right down to the wire here. First, you're coming in to support uh, Cheetah, so those Kodiaks don't overpower him. Ah, oh, excellent stasis field there. Taking out those two. Fusty, that's the way. That's that's the way stasis field is supposed to be. You take out half the army, so you can kill half of them at once. Don't have to fight a whole army at once recession. Oh, was a dream. I think I missed that, but I think I, I think I saw what I saw. Cheetah undeploying his crawler because I mean, his his basic shield was down to zero, so he used he used he used the famous defense trick, deploying up to use the mobile shield to save his button. I think I think undeploying to use the mobile shield to save himself. Really excellent, excellent use of the shield of both types of shields there by Cheetah. Again, excellent. Both the defensive skills of PM and Cheetah, and that both players have been superb defense. And I think it's the only reason why GDI has kept the only reason why GDI has kept five and not has kept three is thanks to Cheetah and PM's defensive skills this game. And I actually think the whole reason this game has been eaten the whole way through is with both teams to control one blue the whole way through. And nine, most of 99% of the game, this uplink has been held and the blue has been held by PM, and this one by Cheetah. So I really think that's what's forced the close game here. The fact that both Cheetah and Piap have excellent defense skills here. They've both been doing real... I mean, they've both had support, yes, but... I mean, you see the amazing skills they've got, especially with the crystal shields, and some of the shielding techniques by our Cheetah, and also Cheetah using the engineers to go for a shopping spree with uh, getting all the mass on the floor. Yeah, here we go. A mess again. Here you go. Yeah, what a mess. Clean up on R3 again, and I think Finn's crew has cleaned this game up, so well done to the Finn's crew. GDI, you have put up my like, damn, it has been a very close fight, and I, I think you can't really come down to anything but sheer luck, really. I mean, both teams are performing exceptionally well. I mean, there were mistakes on both sides, but well done, the Fitz group. Only 200 points in it. Let's check the stats here. The Hunter Award goes to... Oh, no one, really. Not many crawler kills, so it looks like... Looks like uh, P.A.P., Murder, and Zebra Stripes were both decommissioned their crawlers quite a bit. Here we go. Superb work by Under and the Kodiaks. The Kodiaks got him 103 for 24. Nicely done. 4.29 ratio. Alright. And Fusty, the only positive effect on Nod. So it was a very, a very damaging game with more play, m most players losing more units than they killed. So it was a very, very intense game. Yeah, and look, 18, 10, and 22 for the support power. So, but again, both sides, excellent job. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, podcast, and sorry for, I did think this was the Japanese one, the so my apologies there. This is the Master of the Sunny Loopy Legend signing off, we'll see you next week for another podcast.